guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer expansion of a board game review. Today's expansion up on the tabletop is called Ignorance is Bliss for the game Euphoria. Euphoria is a game that plays up to five players, and basically the expansion is going to give you a solo play mode, a factionless recruit, as well as additional recruits, additional buildings that will have different things you can choose to do with it on them, as well as making some uh, adjustments to the game's mechanics, and including larger tokens to get rid of that uh, that currency board that you were using previously and player boards so you get to see everything in front of you as opposed to using it on the main board. Whether I think this is an interesting expansion that you should pick up for the game will be decided at the very end of the video but first let me show you what you're going to get as well as uh, what, what, what basically you're going to be using these things for. So here are the components for Euphoria Ignorance's Bliss expansion. And as you can see, it comes with some interesting things. The first thing it's gonna come with is a new card that you're gonna place over this key that will have a board set up. And then of course the key that goes over it. And the main change for this is that you're gonna to have to pay one heart per worker that you wanna use beyond the first, as long as it rolls the same number. If you haven't, if you don't know the rules for this game, I suggest you check out another video or my first one to learn the rules for this. This is an expansion. So hopefully you already know the game previously for in order for this to work <laughs> but uh nevertheless it also gives you the player count for uh, construction sites how many different um resources you need and then what you need to pay in order to gain uh, the morale for your workers or what you suffer if you can't and then of course it's going to give you these extra building sites or construction sites here they are just the same as the other ones the old previous ones but now you can choose to use these or those and they have a symbol with a guy with his uh, with a, I guess with a uh, blindfold on to signify ignorance is bliss. And it's just new cards, that, new construction sites which utilize new mechanics and whatnot. And it gives you uh, quite a few of these new guys here. There's also stickers that are going to come in the game box that you can attach to the board that signifies it, in, in a two-player game, you're going to start your little your little workers here, uh, three, four, to five player, as opposed to starting it uh, here every time and moving to this end of the board. It makes this track a little faster when a, in, a short, in a less lower player count game. Additionally, you're going to get these recruits, a whole new stack of them, and they are going to have all of their own unique abilities and whatnot. In addition, there's going to be a factionless recruit. These guys don't score you stars like normal recruits do, but when they start up, you're going to be able to utilize their abilities, and they have some really powerful abilities. Like, for instance, this one says when you use a tunnel without bumping somebody else off of them, so if you use this tunnel and nobody else is on there, then you don't have to pay the tunnel cost. Very, very, very cool. Jorgen the Hoarder says, if you have at least one resource and retrieve three to four workers, you gain a resource of your choice and you keep it in addition to the original resource. So these guys are very powerful, but they don't give you a victory point condition. So pretty cool, right? Additionally, there's going to be this um, artifact market here. And this is the artifact cards from the base game. And what you're going to do is you're going to flip these cards over and it's going to have costs associated with them. This is the cheapest, which is for free. And this costs one, this costs one, this costs two and as you buy these whether you buy one with one commodity or one with two commodities or this one for free they'll go down the board and then they'll be replaced with new ones so it provides a little bit more of a variety as to the type of cards you can go ahead and choose throughout the game there's some unique different interesting rules like for instance when you complete a one of these areas here as opposed to just being able to place it here you can now place it over here as well um, in addition this one can actually place one on here or one on there as well now as well so just extra ways to gain stars uh, this is your new player boards which will show you where you place all your stars all of your commodities all of your resources and of course your workers as you roll them in addition instead of utilizing this area over here which is going to have your hand size and your intelligence for your workers or morale uh, and your intelligence you're going to have it on your board directly here and it will also include let me go ahead and pull these out really quick all right this one and this one it will include your heart and your little head there that is attached to this board right here so you're going to be able to use, utilize this board here uh so you're not going to be utilizing this over here anymore you have your own player board which is kind of nice right and there's going to be these big commodities here whether it be five for food Fire for Bliss, Electricity, and Water. Now you have these big boys, so you don't have to utilize these. If you want to, you can, but you don't need to if you do not want to. And for the most part, that's what you're going to get in the game. So you're going to get a little bit more of an access to resources, a new market, new cards of two different types, as well as these guys here, and your own player boards with some unique rules. Okay. 
changing and uh, this new key here as to how that works. But anyway, that's pretty much what you're gonna get other than one last little thing, which is you have a single player mode now available to you in the game and you're gonna use this automation deck. In addition to this deck though, uh, you could of course play with two players and include computer players or uh, three players, or you can simply play by yourself. So automated player deck, which is pretty cool as well. All right, so that's pretty much what you get. Let's come up and talk about what I think about this game. And of course, what everybody else thought as well about this game and compared to the base game and then with it. So what do I think about the game Euphoria with the added expansion of Ignorance is Bliss? Well, first of all, like I said, there is the additional tokens here. And we'll go through it in step by step because they're all like little add-ons to the game. These things are super cool. I wasn't a big fan of the boards before. I like having the tokens and adding these is just a nice little touch to the game. And the fact that everything fits in the Euphoria box is nice. This is actually empty because I will never need to put anything in it because the Euphoria game, base game, holds everything for me. That's nice as well. I'm not a big single player expansion. I played it once and it works just fine. It feels like a solitaire style game in which the computer player is moving and placing based on the cards that you're drawing. So that is cool, unique little aspect to the game, which wasn't there before. The artifact shop or bazaar is nice as well because now you get choices as to what you want to buy because during the game you're going to need to have pairs or uh, sometimes you're going to need three different types of cards and whatnot and when you go ahead and discard them you're also going to need them for the different work sites so for instance this one says you need to have glasses and this one says you need to have the gemstones so being able to purchase them maybe they cost a little more but it's better than not getting them at all um, additionally there is the new factionless class. While they do not give you victory points when they become active at the very end of the game with the little stars because they don't have a faction, they give you a very powerful boost at the beginning of the game, whether it be additional resources or wilds or the ability to do certain things other players can't do, which is a nice touch. And being able to choose them or not choose them is nice. Now you only get to have one of those guys. If you get another one, you have to draw a different one. So you're only going to get one of them because they get too powerful, I imagine is the case. Uh, another thing to note too is placing the stickers on the boards. It provides you with a sticker booklet for the different types of the game, different like, I guess, prints and whatnot. And placing them on the boards, I guess, felt kind of cheesy. I, I wasn't a big fan of that, but at the same time, it was either, it's either getting stickers and placing them on there, which works, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, but I would prefer a, a new board. Now, would I pay that much for an extra board? Probably because it also gave you player boards too, which I prefer as well, uh, as opposed to the uh, on the board, up because you have to move your thing across the board every single time you have to suffer hearts or, or uh, intelligence or whatever. So I prefer probably a deluxe version of the board, I suppose, but this is a lot more cost effective and it's totally understandable why they would choose to just give you a player board and uh, uh, some stickers that fixes the game's concepts. There's also an interesting aspect where before you could roll doubles and then you could place twice. In this case, with a variant rule of just simply removing a heart in order to place another, but now that variant rule is in the game. So in order to utilize another worker, it makes it more fair and balanced that you have to lose morale at the cost of not having cards in your hand. I like that rule. I also like the rule that now you can utilize the building construction zone and the other area in order to go to either space. Makes it less likely if you have to suffer negative consequences when you go on the building site. So that is also better as well. Overall, the expansion is is definitely a plus to have in this game. It fixes some things that people didn't like previously. Well, like I said, pre personally, I didn't have a problem with any of the stuff that as we were playing with it, but I could see why players might. When I played this a couple nights ago, we played this uh, with my buddy Mikey and our cameraman Kelsey, and they had previously played the first game with us when I before I reviewed it, and they enjoyed that game. They said it was, I don't do scales of one to 10, but they do, and they said a seven or an eight, and another one, other player agreed as well, seven or an eight. Then when we played this expansion a couple of nights ago uh, with the game, they said, well, this expansion makes that game in comparison like uh, a, a five or a six, and it boosts the game up to an eight or maybe even a nine with this expansion because they like the player boards. They like all the little extra stuff that added to make ease of play something that came with the game. And personally, I, I agree with them. I think this definitely does improve the game's quality as far as the certain little rule tweaks, as far as the additional little player benefits and boards and whatnot. Successful expansion all in all. This is interesting because it's not technically, I would say, okay, this is an additional thing you can add to the game, take it or leave it. This is actually a better version of the game with this expansion attached to it. It gives you certain things that the previous game may have felt lacking for certain players. I mean, I've heard mixed reviews for both of these. Uh, 
whether or not they've actually played this expansion or not, I don't know. But I think for the players who had a problem with some of the aspects in the original game, if they get this expansion, this actually might fix those issues for you. So if you own the game and you personally like it, definitely get this expansion. It's going to make things even better for you. If you own the game and you don't necessarily like it because of certain rules and whatnot, this will actually tweak them to maybe, maybe entice you to want to check out the game Euphoria. Personally, a really good expansion. I definitely suggest taking a look at it, especially if you own the game Euphoria. Excellent. Again, a lot of fun with this one. 